Hello, my beautiful collective. Elsie here to give you a reading. What is a collective reading? Well, it is for all signs. So why do I say that? Because you haven't time stamped it else. I know. And it's because you're supposed to be putting on your intuitive hat to find out if this is your reading or not. It's not for any specific um, sign, but I will call out the signs as they come up. Um, and you will find out whether this is your reading or not, right? Put on your intuitive hat and read along with me. Here we go. Collective, collective energy. Collective energy, please. And collective, yes, we are going to do a live. I'm sorry that I haven't done it yet. I said at 40,000 we would. And uh, we will do a, a live. It is coming up, but understand that I just have to get a hold of my private readings first, okay? And uh, once I get a hold of the private readings, then we will go and do the live and do some free readings for you. Free five-minute readings. Yep, okay. Collective, here we are. We're just going to start with some oracle cards. Tell us what is up for the collective. All right. Giving us two, we shall take them. Thank you. There is going to be some delight and change, Collective. I feel like you know it. Pinks and purples. Crown chakra. I think you're getting some downloads that are making you happy, making you feel giddy, making you feel like you're going to be having some movement soon, Collective. That's what it feels like. I see the the delight here. Delight. Pink, green, blue, heart chakra, throat chakra, crown chakra. Yellow, sacral chakra. I feel like somebody's going to speak up. It's going to make you really happy. It's going to make you sing. Yeah, I feel like it's it, somebody is about to speak up. Somebody who's been getting downloads. It might be you. It might be them. Um, yeah, that could be them too. I've got pink here. I feel like somebody is going to say something that is heartfelt. It feels like there is a message because birds can be seen as messengers, right? They have been over time. And um, <clears throat> um, there's something taking flight in both of these pictures, right? We've got birds in the background and here we have... Um, this horse that is attached to the air balloon. It feels like something is about to take flight, something that somebody's going to have a realization that they need to take flight and go somewhere. That's what it feels like. Let's see if I can dig these out of here. Here we go. Tell us more about this change. The change I feel is a change of mind. It feels like it's a change of mind or a change of uh, location. You could be um, moving somewhere that makes you happy. The change might come in terms of I need to speak up, throat chakra. I have to tell you what's in my heart, heart chakra because I've had a download that I know that it's time to go, that we need to move along here. We need to move along and figure it out. There is going to be change, and it's going to be great change here. Tell me what else we have here, please, for the collective. Okay, we'll take it. We shall take the blessings. We will not give them back. No way. Okay. Let's go here. We've got dagger, fear, worries, and tense situations. Interesting. I feel like you're worried about it. So fear, worried, and tense situations. Feeling like you could get hurt. Feeling like this is never going to work out. It's never going to pan out. Like, why am I waiting? I'm not really sure. Fears, worries, tense situation. I feel like some of you are waiting for someone to speak up, say something from the heart, and you want to just have change. You want to move and carry on. For some of you, you'll be waiting till February, possibly, or till a colder month comes along. We have four leaf clover. Great good fortune. Okay. So right now you could be worried about it. Is the change even coming? Is this person ever going to speak up? Because I feel like it feels okay. Delight, right? It feels like good fortune. Great fortune is coming. 
It could be uh, that you're going to feel this or hear about it in February. For some of you, it could be June. We have seven and two. Seven and two is nine. It's going over the details. I'm doing June is seven, right? No, wait. June is six. Sorry. February is two. Six and two is eight. Someone's ready to put the hard work in. For some of you, June could be significant. February could be significant. I feel like things are going to get better. So if you're worried that things are not going to get better, I, I think that you need to put that those thoughts away. Um, that I think that it has to be cold before it's warm. February to June. It's like the, the four-leaf clover, the luck and uh, great good fortune here. It says great good fortune. So it could be going from cold to warm. That's what it is, right? It could be going from cold to warm. Yeah, someone who is very cold with you and you had been worrying about why you hadn't heard from them or why they were acting so cold with you. All right. Let's see what Amira has to say about that. Travel. Somebody's going to travel to see you. It could be overseas. It doesn't have to be, but I feel like someone might travel to see you. Someone might want to. The change is that someone might want to spend time with you. Um, maybe take a vacation. For some of you, you could need the change of a vacation, and that's where you meet somebody. Passion. I feel like some of you are really passionate about somebody here. The delight is that there's chemistry. Maybe it's been such a long time that you haven't seen them and you weren't sure if there was any passionate feelings or chemistry. It could be someone that you met while you were traveling or someone that has to travel to see you, whether it's plane, train or automobile, I don't care. But the change is it's going from cold to warm or cold to really hot. Really hot. <laughs> Yeah, and that's, you were worried about it, but I think that there, that there is more than meets the eye here. That maybe this person was just working a lot, and maybe that's why you didn't hear from them. Oh. All right, let's do that then. What's changing? Tell me what's changing. Do the kipper for a moment. Tell me what's changing. What's changing is the mature woman. Love for the mature woman. It's card number six, which in the tarot is love, right? It's the lovers. Something is changing. If you identify as the person who is the mature woman, then I feel like the change is for you. This could be someone that you worked with. You don't, doesn't have to be, but, you know, toil and labor is, uh, you know, these people here um, in the, in back in the day, right? It, it, it always reminds me of wartime. I don't know why, but um, it reminds me of wartime. And a lot of people got really hurt you know, a lot of people who didn't have education or, you know, women at that time, I feel, weren't, weren't working um, outside the home or weren't allowed to or, or their husbands didn't want them to. I feel like um, it's like th these people, it looks like they're on a loom, um, but they could get maimed and hurt. It almost feels like th that you may have been um, that this situation is about two people that worked at the same workplace at one point. That the toil and labor is someone who works as the associate or the, the person who comes in at the entry level. And maybe the mature woman is someone who is the boss or, you know, someone who is, is higher up. Because we're seeing someone who's toil and labor working the hardest they can for the least money. Maybe that was you. Maybe it was someone in the workplace that you met and that you are... Maybe it was very cold at that time, like it could have been February. And um, maybe things changed in June um, or it went from cold to warm, cold to hot. It feels like um, there's balance. 
balance here. Six and two is eight. Yeah, somebody is willing. It's like the reason I say it's the workplace is because eight and three is 11. And then we have six. One and one is two, right? It goes three and eight is 11. And then one and one is two. That's balance or things that are becoming even. And then we have six and six and two is eight, putting in the hard work. It feels like a workplace thing. That's what I'm thinking. It feels like a work workplace thing. Okay. I'm, the tarot I'm using today is tarot, uh, jack-o'-lantern tarot. That's what it is. I'll be using it for the month of October. So we have four of wands. So you could have met someone. Someone uh, while you were traveling, possibly, or someone who lives at a distance, either way, um, this person uh, could have been married, or maybe you two. Oh, it became burdensome, right? You could have been in a relationship that became burdensome, or it became burdensome to be in a distance from this person. And so... It became very cold. You were worried about it. Became very cold. This person became very cold with you. Ten of right, six and four is ten. Ten of wands. We're going to drop that. We need it to be warmer. Ace of wands, right? June possibly. Um, that you couldn't make a decision. It feels like you needed to have some backbone to do something. And this is the only card that I see that particular uh, backbone, right? There's somebody behind her here. I see it as it, it looks like someone who is just. <laughs> it looks like a head on a spine <laughs> that's all it looks like so I feel as though you need to get some backbone and make a decision um, about this person about dropping the burdens with this person because I feel like it's headed to a long-term relationship or abundance you feel abundance in this situation you have a lot of feelings. You feel like this person is your long-term relationship. You have a lot of feelings about this person. And it's been silent, I believe. You two haven't spoken. And I'm saying that because across the top of this, you know, we see five pentacles here, right? Five here and then two here, which is kind of like waiting in the balance. Things are in, in the balance or feeling not enough about a ten of pentacles relationship. We've got three pentacles on the bottom, which is the partnership. So again... You know, it's sort of pentacle related. There's no cups here. It feels like it was business. We got along really well. And then maybe you left the workplace and you don't talk anymore. But this person is looking back. This person's looking back. They are looking back at the long-term relationship. They have passion for it. They really do have a passion for and want to talk about or bring a message about, you know, the time that we worked together, that I really was passionate about you. But I couldn't show you my love. I couldn't show you the feelings I had. Page of Cups, also, when you worked with this person, they could have been very immature. Or, because I'm looking at toil and labor, toil and labor to me is the one that is the associate or the brand new person or the person who doesn't have as much knowledge ab about the workplace as they should. Um, yeah, someone who's brand new, someone who's young or someone who's just starting the job. But they saw you and they were passionate about you. And they wanted to invest in you. And they saw you for who you were, the queen, right? They see the queen of pentacles, the person who's loving and giving and kind and is always giving to others, always willing to invest. This person wanted to invest in you, but they didn't. All right. Let's see what the... Let's see what the... Uh, the cards y'all oracle all that glitters somebody had a mask on they saw your worth but they had a mask on they were going through a tower possibly they were going through a tower this person it feels like two people worked together one person was higher up in the company one person was lower in the company that you had to stay very sterile february very sterile very cold with each other because you were in the workplace but 
things are about to get better because June is here and things are warming up. I feel like one or both of you leave the workplace, but there's still passion. There's still a connection. The knight is still looking at the Ten of Pentacles. I feel like somebody here was wearing a mask um, because they didn't want anybody to see who they were. Peace. They just want to make peace with you because there's been lack. 16. Yeah, that's the tower for sure. Somebody pulls their mask off, I feel. I feel somebody's pulling their mask off because they're still very passionate about you and they're ready to invest because they see your worth. Whether you're feminine or masculine, they see your worth. All right. What's going to happen with this tower, though? Tell me about that. <laughs> There's going to be communication. This person's going to, yeah, again, Nine of Pentacles. This person, I feel, had to wait until they either broke away or were in an individual energy away from you, away from the workplace. They maybe went off and made their own business. Um, I feel like they're, they're someone who is very abundant by themselves and when they left the workplace they weren't i feel like the tower falls they lose their job possibly to a pentacles they have a financial impact lose their job lose something that impacts them and throws them off balance i feel like this person now is 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 bossed up it feels like they have their own energy they're in an individual energy they're single they're abundant running their own business maybe they own the business now but i feel like there's communication coming in here we got the ace of swords this person is trying to gain the strength to do it they're trying to find their inner strength they don't have enough courage to come forward so i feel like this could take a while eight months eight days eight weeks we've got card number eight holding everything up that's what's holding everything up so if, if this is something that that is um something that you resonate with I feel like what's holding everything up is this person, since they haven't seen you and it's been silent here, and they still feel like they want to invest in this situation, but you haven't spoken in a while because of the five pentacles. I feel like this person is trying to find the strength. They don't have enough courage to come forward. They're trying to find the courage to come forward and tell you that they still have, or I don't know if, if you knew that they ever had, but that this person has feelings for you. Tell me about card number 16. Who's taking off the mask, please? Who is taking off their mask? All that glitters is not gold. And that's what I think it is, that this person had a lot of personal work to do. A tower fell, and they had a lot of stuff that they that they were hiding from you, that they weren't the person you thought they were. If they were your boss, they weren't this bossed up person you thought they were. If you were the person who is the boss, maybe you're the one going through the tower and you weren't as bossed up as you let on. We have the Eight of Swords. So the tower falls here, the mask comes off, and somebody decides that they no longer have to be stuck in this place where their hands are tied. Their hands are no longer tied, and now they want to come forward and drop burdens with you. We have the Ten of Wands. There we go. They've been waiting. Seven of Pentacles. And, yep, now they want to work on it. All right. I'm going to drop the mic right there and I'm going to go. Thank you so much for coming here, Collective, and clicking here. If you're interested in a private read, I still do have spaces over on Wizio. Um, there, all the information you need is in the description below. If you're interested in a private read based on what you see here, maybe this has triggered something for you and you, um, you want to um, have a private reading about that. Yeah, I'm going to go for now. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. I'm out. Bye-bye.